Hey guys, what is up? Tiffany Jenner here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so, so glad to have y'all here. So today, in today's video, I will be sharing with you what I'm getting my husband for Valentine's. Um, pretty much I'm putting together a gift basket for him. Um, I think that's the best thing I could do. I love to make gift baskets for all kinds, for like Mother's Day. Uh, birthdays. I just love putting gift baskets together and you don't have to spend a ton of money to put a gift basket together. Just know what your person wants. Some puts together some of their favorite things and boom, you've got a great gift basket. Um, he also got me something from Amazon, but I can't see it until it's Valentine's Day. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, so yeah, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. Um, I do a lot of hauls, uh, grocery hauls, day in the life of videos, cleaning and decluttering and decorating and all that stuff I'm all into. I am loving my Valentine's tree. It's, I don't light it up too much, but I thought I'd light it up for the sake of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into what I got my husband for Valentine's 2022. Okay, first of all, here is the basket that I'm going to be using um, so this is a basket that I've had. I got it from a thrift store and it was $3 seems kind of expensive, but I guess I paid $3 for this basket. Um, it, it's very unique, isn't it? It's not like, it's just very unique how it's shaped. Um, so you can tell it's very deep and I thought about um, actually going and buying a different basket just because of the way that this one's shaped. But then I started thinking, you know what? My husband's not really going to care that much what the basket looks like. What's more important is how, what is inside. That's what's going to count more. So I thought I'd just, um, instead of going and, and repurchasing a new basket, I'm just going to use this one. Usually we have been using this basket to store our Walmart bags. But he's going to have his Valentine's gift in here. So anyway, I'm going to share with y'all what I got. And I would like to say 95% of the stuff you're going to see is from Dollar Tree. And the rest of the stuff I'll mention where it's from. Um, but first of all, because this basket is like so deep, it, as you can tell. And I, I, didn't, I didn't get a ton and ton of stuff. But because it's so deep, I got these um, two bags of uh, decorative shred. You can see that. Just to kind of fill up the basket. So, you know, like I said, because the basket is so deep and it shows it on the bag too, what this, this shred stuff is good for. And it shows it in the basket. And plus I can keep this for the girls Easter baskets. Does that sound like a good idea, Abigail? I'm gonna help you with the bender. Okay, you, we'll make the basket in a minute, okay? After I show them, so. Okay, so first of all, I always see him cutting his toenails and he's always can never find clippers. So I got him some toenail clippers and it's got like a blue handle. They came in different colors. I thought he'd like the blue. Next, I got him these dry roasted peanuts. We always go to Dollar Tree for our favorite snacks and he loves these. He loves peanuts. Another thing he loves are Pringles. So I had to get him some Pringles. Another thing he loves are these Cracker Jack uh, caramel coated popcorn peanuts. And it comes in a pack of three. He likes to take these to work. He works overnight. Next, I got him this Barbasol thick and rich shaving cream. To be honest, uh, me and Penelope use this too to shave our legs. But uh, yeah, it's, it's for all of us to be honest. But That'll go in his basket. Um, so another thing I got him from Dollar Tree was this candle. And he, my husband actually likes candles, but like, you know, manly candles. And he his favorite can, um, color is black. And this one's called Spiced Leather. Mm, and it smells so good. I, I really like, I really enjoy the smell too. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. He could sit this on his desk or in his room. He's really into like gothic type stuff. So I thought that this would go well in his office. Not in my room. 
Um, okay. And then next, um, so Dollar Tree does sell DVDs. And they are kind of, in my opinion, the DVDs at Dollar Tree are hit or miss. And I have noticed, well, I've talked to the employees there. Walmart has given a lot of their DVDs to Dollar Tree, like DVDs they just weren't selling. The DVDs that were like $3.74 have now gone to Dollar Tree. So look there because they're getting better options at Dollar Tree when it comes to DVDs. And I have purchased some DVDs um, at Dollar Tree before and from my husband and he really enjoyed it. And so anyway, he is into horror, very scary films, horror movies. Did I say that right? So I picked, I was looking and I picked this one up and it says, it's called The Dark Encounter. Uh, it looks really good. And then this one looks good too. It's called The Haunting of Margam Castle. So that's something we'll watch together, I'm sure. But like I said, we got a movie like this before from Dollar Tree, a scary movie, and it was pretty good. We were we were impressed that it came from Dollar Tree, just a dollar twenty-five. Okay, so I do believe that's all my Dollar Tree stuff that I'm going to be putting in the basket. The next few things I'm going to show you are from Family Dollar. Um, so I got my husband some double bubble gum. He is obsessed with gum. He loves gum. I'm wanting to buy him a like huge gumball machine. I don't know, I'm sure they have one on Amazon or something, but I mean, he's obsessed with gum. So I should have gotten him, now that I'm thinking about it, I should have gotten him two bags, but I just got him one. Okay, and then next, um, picked up this Sodoku puzzle book. He loves this, he loves playing Sodoku. So I picked that up at Family Dollar. He likes doing this on his breaks at work. And then I also picked up this crossword word search puzzle. Well, that'll keep him busy, Abigail. Okay, and last but not least, um, <laughs> you, she's giving me all these notes. My daughter's writing me love notes. Um, uh, last but not least, my husband loves Asian food. We, we live really close to an Asian store. And my husband loves sushi. He loves sushi and all that. Um, but he loves actually loves seaweed a lot. I used to find seaweed at Dollar Tree, but lately I haven't been able to find any. But I went over to the Asian store today and got him two packs of seaweed. Very good. You're probably gonna want some of this, huh? Okay. The girls love, and they always ask him for some of his seaweed. So. That is something I'm, that is the last thing I'm putting in his basket. So that is everything that's going into his basket. And once again, this is the basket. You'll see it in the thumbnail with everything in it. Um, but yeah, I think he's gonna enjoy everything. Don't you, Abigail? I think we got him some good stuff. You know, I didn't go overboard. I think I got the right amount of stuff. Um, can I read everybody your note you gave me? I guess. She just wrote me this cute little note because I told her I had to do this video real quick. And she was sitting on my bed writing and it says, Dear Mom, I hope you have a good Valentine's Day and you get all the stuff you want. I'll let y'all see that. Isn't that sweet? Did you write Joseph a note too? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I won't read theirs on that because that's private. That's to them. But since you let me read... But this you to can, everybody. You can read Joseph's. You want me to read Joseph's? Okay, Joseph's her dad. This one is to Joseph? To, yeah, it says to Joseph. Please give this to Joseph. To mom. mom. To mom. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Okay. Dear Joseph, I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and like what you got. I love you. Did you write I love you on mine? I forgot to. Oh, burn. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what she wrote to her dad. My ring light's about to fall. Can you not jump on the bed? Because it, it almost fell. Okay. Okay, guys. So that is it. That concludes everything I'm getting my husband for Valentine's. Um, my husband's not really big on holidays, to be honest. Um, like he said every day is Valentine's Day, which is true. Here's yours. Thank you. Oh. Oh, my God. Look what she wrote. You're my favorite. Thank you. 
You made up for it. Thank you. Um, so, anyway, uh, and different countries have different days of Valentine's. I'm not thinking right, y'all. I'm so tired. Um, that is about to fall. My ring light's about to fall. Can you hold it for just a second? So, anyway, um, my husband's actually from Brazil, and they celebrate Valentine's in the June. So, their Valentine's Day is in June, and I know different countries have different days of stuff. But, anyway... Every day, make time to show people that you love them and that you care. Yes. So, anyway, thank you so much for being here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Um, and I, I appreciate you being here. Bye, guys.